Okay, working on 2002 Ford Ranger. Customer complaint is an ABS light. Uh, customer stated that he replaced the left front speed sensor a year ago and he recently just had the right front speed sensor replaced and he was unable to clear the fault so he just asked me to clear the light and I figured I would check it. So let me take you to the scan tool. So we're going to go to memory codes, continue. Okay, so we have C1145 right front speed sensor input circuit fault. Um, he said he already replaced that, but he was just unable to clear it. And we have a C1230 rear speed sensor circuit fault. So the way this is set up, there's uh, two speed sensors in the front, a left front and a right front. And there's one speed sensor on the differential in the rear. So real quick, I'm just going to go to data display. And these are our speed sensors. So this one's the left front right front and the rear and what I'm gonna do is just spin the wheels and see what kind of signal we got on the scan tool okay so I'm at the left front wheel try to keep you focused on this and I'm just gonna spin this left front wheel see I got a signal on the scan tool all right I'm gonna go to the right front wheel at the right front wheel. Got a signal, so that sensor they replaced is working. Let's go to the... Okay, so I'm at the rear wheels. Just trying to spin this rear wheel while holding the camera. I'm spinning the rear wheel right now. I got nothing on that one. Nothing. So I'm just under my guided component tests on my Varus. Um, operation is this is a four wheel ABS three channel brake system. Uses three variable reluctant sensors to determine wheel speed. Sensors are located on the right and left front wheels and one sensor mounted on the top of the rear axle housing. The analog brake sensors operate on a magnetic induction principle. As the teeth on the anti-lock brake sensor indicate Indicator rotate past the stationary sensor. A sensor or a signal proportional to the speed of the rotation is generated and sent to the ABS control module through a twisted cable and shielded wiring harness. And then it says most late model Ford series Super Duty vehicles will use a three channel ABS. Best way to identify a four channel is ABS will have one wheel speed sensor on each wheel. That's pretty standard. And over here, this is our rear rear wheel speed sensor. It's located on the top of the rear end housing. Two pins. Well, it's a yeah, it's a three pin. I guess it could be a two pin. Could be a two pin, or it could be a three pin, and the middle pin is just not used. So. Let's go back and look at this sensor. All right, so here we are back probed at this rear uh, speed sensor on this pumpkin right here. Um, it's just a two pin sensor. So I got both my T pins back probed into that wheel speed sensor positive and the negative. And I got nothing when I spin this wheel. Nothing, so. Go back here. So wheel speed sensor positive and a known good ground, we should have 12 volts. So I'm just gonna unplug this speed sensor and see if we have our voltage. If we do, then we need a speed sensor. If not, then there's a wiring issue. So let me get this sensor unplugged. So I got my speed sensor unplugged. 
I'm on the positive and uh, ground and I have zero volts. So in theory, what I should do is go to the module and see if we have voltage coming out. But here's what I noticed while I was out here. It's these damaged wires right here and they go right to our speed sensor. So maybe I can get a voltage reading off and up there. I'll see if I can. All right, so I got the wire stripped back a little bit, trying to make contact here. I'm getting about 2.58 volts connected to these wires. So I'm not sure if this is normal. Uh, the guided component test said I should have 12 with it unplugged. Um, I'm only getting three. So we either have normal voltage right there or we have another wiring issue. Okay, so I switched a bit. Um, this is the right front speed sensor connector and I just have it unplugged and I just want to get a voltage reading because I'm unsure about that 2.5 volts. So I'm just going to connect to a ground and touch one of these pins and see what kind of voltage I got. Okay, so I just got my T-pin. I'm just making contact with the terminal. And I have that same 2.58 volts. So that confirms that that voltage is good and those, those wires are my problem. So I'm gonna fix those wires and see if I can get a signal. So I got my test leads connected to the positive and negative side of this speed sensor. Um, I got the wires together. The clamps are possibly kind of holding it together. And uh, I just got this thing. It's up off the ground, it's in drive. Uh, you just gotta be careful doing that. But uh, let me show you this signal. So we now have a speed signal from this sensor. Um, I have this on a two volt scale, 200 milliseconds. Pretty cool. So we'll have to permanently fix these wires. No parts replaced on this one. Rear speed sensor, in op, broken wires. Calling that one a fix. All I did was just put them together with some tape for now, temporary, and I have the car still in the air, and I got it in drive. And here's our rear wheel speed. We don't have any signal on the fronts because the front wheels aren't turning. This is real wheel drive. Um, we'll get this on a test drive, but just need to get those wires fixed. They're temporarily fixed now, but not good enough. So that was our issue, those two wires. So maybe that three volts was normal or that two and a half volts was normal. So we'll fix them wires and call this a fix. The wheels are on the ground. And you can see, see I got good signals on all three of my wheel speed sensors. Confirmed fix, broken wires. Any other guy probably would have put a speed sensor in this. So, calling that a fix, thanks for watching.